just woke my baby up with my hello. It's all right. My drifting back. Um, I wanted to film this downstairs because the light's best in the kitchen at night. But uh, well, evening, it's winter, isn't it? But I've just filmed the end of a day in the life video, which will come out after this because it's a collaboration. Um, and my other kids, not the baby, <laughs> I've got a friend round. It's so noisy downstairs. I don't know if you can hear me at the end of that video. So I was like, I'm going to film this upstairs. My oldest son, Pudge, who's 11, is dyslexic. But my nine-year-old Beanie, he reverses letters a lot, which I'm told is normal. It doesn't necessarily mean they're dyslexic. But their Sunday school teacher is a teaching assistant at the local junior school. Um, and she gave me this resource I'm about to show you. And I don't know which kid she, which kid it was for because we've never actually had a conversation saying Pudge is dyslexic. I did say to him, you know, have they ever made you do any writing at Sunday school? Uh, because he had to leave Beavers because it could become very writing heavy and nobody would help him. And he said, um, once, and I says, and what happened? He says, oh, I struggled a bit and Julie helped me. Julie's a Sunday school teacher. And she's never, she hasn't asked me since. So I don't know if because she works at the school, she's able to have a rough idea of what's cracking off there. Or if this was for Beanie, who writes a lot, but he reverses some letters. But, so what it is, is reversals and rotations, aids in reducing reversals and rotations of letters. Um, this was cram packed, but half of it they've already done. There's some examples of what's in it there I'm gonna show you. There's some some of the things, the sheets in it are just photocopies of the same thing. Um, which I understand with dyslexia, you know, repetition is key. But Pudge is like me, gets fed up very quickly if there's too much repetition. I hate things being repeated. <laughs> um, but, as you're about to see, these worksheets have been beneficial to all my kids. Pudge is dyslexic. Beanie reverses letters and Bod who's just turned six and Pink who's four because they've helped with number and letter recognition as well. So I've been able to use the worksheets with all four kids which has also been nice because I don't like single Pudge out because he's dyslexic. I don't like, you know, to make a thing of it. So the fact they've all been able to do these worksheets and it's not like singled him out has also been a good thing for us. Um, I don't know where they're from, I'm guessing they're from the school, but it says on it something about community paediatrician occupational therapist, so they're the proper stuff. So there are some things in there I haven't seen yet, but I'll just show you, sorry it's hard, I've got, I'm trying to use one hand even though they're probably loose. So just show you a quick um, example of the stuff in it. There's lots of, this is why Bod and Pinky's been able to do it as well, there's been lots of finding the letter, so circle every H look. But they'll put like H's next to N's and U's to make it confusing. So you really got to take the time to look at the letter. Um, this was one you colour in. Now you had to colour in all the B's and it made a B. You had to colour in all the D's. But like I say, you've got it's con making you concentrate really concentrate on the letter because there's lots of D's near where the B's were a lot and P's to make it confusing. So you have to play. Beanie did this one and he wrote Poo Pudge Pot on it. And he gave himself an A. Plus. <laughs> right, this one. Um, it says rainbow numbers. Uh, you're meant to write it first in yellow, then in red, then in blue. Um, but this one's just been done normally. This one I got Pudge to do and I got him to do it in yellow, then red, then blue. Because I saw a video on YouTube about dyslexia therapy and they got them drawing massive figures of eights. First in one colour, then in another, then in another. Um, and I can't see the point of it and Pudge couldn't either, but I thought they must, it must have some benefit or why are they including it in dyslexia therapy? So he did do it in three different colours. So I don't know, but he did do it how it says to do it. Uh, these look were you and you have to find it but it's put with letters that are similar uh, da, 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 da. 
and then it gets hard look two letters NU and then three HMN Beanie was rattling through these Pudge took a bit more time and Bod and Pinky uh, Pinky rattled through them Bod took a bit more time another one look U but it's in with lots of N's look and V's and N Um. Find the letter D, but it's been put in with lots of P's and B's. Um, so you can see the kind of thing I mean. This is another one of them, look, where you, you find the letter and then it gets harder. Two letter sequence, three letter sequence, four letter sequence. Now this one was words, look, of, but you've got to find the other. I'm hoping it's beneficial to Pudge, but the thing with Pudge is he can read it's um so we can get it in his head he's getting it out of his head writing and spelling he struggles with but this is one pinky did you can see some of them some of them are simple enough pinky to do and now you're getting on to numbers look count to one to twenty but circle them in the right order bod did that now uh beanie did this one because beanie reverses his numbers sometimes you have to circle the ones that are the right way up or the right way round. So it all looks pretty simple stuff, but these are the kind of things he needs repetition on, and um, it's very useful for me because they're already printed off. He can do as many as he likes. Um, the, the, all the kids can do it. Um, some of them are fun, like colouring in. So I'm grateful she gave it to me. And it can't do no harm, can it? Um, yeah, so that's just showing you what it is. Because somebody, I did mention in a previous video that Pudge was doing a sentence builder book. And somebody put in the comments, and I can't remember if I replied or not. Yeah, I'm terrible at replying to comments. Uh, because my Home Educating the Mad Lads account is on the big computer. And I normally watch things on the husband's account. Um, what was I saying? Oh, they said, can you tell me more about the sentence building book? Um, but the thing is, he's already done it, so it's already gone. Unless it's crucial, I'll put it in the recycling bin. Um, what what it was, it was really simple things, but it was just a repetition and reminding him. You know, like uh, nouns, verbs, adjectives, uh, you need capital letters for titles, you know, like Mrs. Ms. Mr. Um, read read this letter and point out where the person lived I think that, simple stuff but it was a repetition for him uh, reminding him how sentences are built and basics you know um, so I hope that I hope that was interesting anyway because uh, you don't see a lot I can't find a lot about dyslexia on YouTube um, so if you can recommend anybody to give me tips let me know